isang magandang buhay sa ating lahat. So, maraming salamat at pag-ingat kayong lahat. Okay, now we are going to discuss for the introduction to statistics. Sabi nga dyan, there are three kinds of lies. Lies, dumb lies, and statistics. Bakit kaya ang nasabi ni B. Israeli na yan ang meaning ng statistics? Okay, so sabi niya, how to lie? How to lie with statistics. How to lie without statistics. Actually, yan yung ginagamit nila. So, check nyo natin kung bakit. Okay, so why do we have to study statistics? Or why? Why not? Lalo na sa inyo. Bakit nga ba kailangan natin ng statistics? So, sabi dyan, data are everywhere. Statistical techniques are used to make many decisions that affect our lives. So, no matter what your career, you will make professional decisions that involve data. So, data talaga ang kailangan natin. So, remember, you have descriptive, you have inf- uh, kasi, di ba, remember, we have three kinds of statistics ng, ng research, di ba? Yung present, past, and future. So, lahat yung kailangan mo ng data. So, an understanding of statistical methods will help you make this decision effectively. Oh, mali pa spelling ng effectively. This is a double F. Okay. The science of collectioning, organizing, presenting, analyzing, and interpreting data to assist in making more effective decisions. So, it's also used to manipulate, summarize, and investigate data so that useful decision-making information results. So, these are the qualities of a good statistician. So, sabi nga dyan, we have scientific, talented, active, tenacious, inventive, skillful, terrific, innovative, creative, interpretative, accurate, and noble. Diba? So, what are the scope of statistics? So, the heart of scientific researches or researcher researches and it is used in all fields of endeavors. For example, we have fisheries, agriculture, commerce, trade, and industry. So, education, biology, economics, psychology, sociology, chemistry, physics, engineering, computer, and food technology. So, in engineering, statistics is vital in the analysis and interpretation of the durability of the buildings, roads, and bridges. Evidently, material testing requires knowledge in statistics. For example, we have the standard division, mean, and an analysis of variance. For the function of statistics, statistics provides researches that means to scientifically measure the conditions that may, that may be involved in a given research question and evaluation, the way in which these conditions are related. Statistics shows the laws underlying facts that and events that cannot be determined by individual observation. Next, we have the statistics reveals that the relation of cause and effect that otherwise may remain unknown. And statistics observes trends and behavior in related condition which otherwise remain unclear. For the importance of statistics research, Statistics permits the most exact kind of description. Next, statistics assists the researcher to be defined, definite and exact in his procedures and is in his thinking. Statistics enables the researcher to summarize results in a meaningful and convenient form. Statistics enables the researcher to draw general conclusions, the process of extracting conclusions, is carried out according to accepted rules. And statistics enable the researcher to predict how much of a thing will happen under conditions he knows and how has measured. To comprehend the logic of statistical of stati- statics to determine 
where to apply appropriate statistical tools in different researcher research question and where not to apply them to interpret statistical results correctly and vividly to direct the basic mathematics in statistics to master the language of statistics descriptive we have we have two types of statistics descriptive statistics and methods of, of organizing summarizing presenting or the data in a for informative way or inferential statistics these are the, the methods used to determine something about a population on the basis of a sample and we have a population for this population the entire set of individuals or objects of interest or the measurements obtained from all individuals or of objects of interest Sample is a portion or part of the population of interest. Hindi naman gagaling sa population. It refers to the entire group or set of individuals or items to which the researchers would like to generalize the result of the study. That is a population. It will be used by the researchers in order to determine the scientific output of the research. So we have the target population which is referred to refers to the entire set of individuals about which we require or require information. For example, all 20 years, 20 year olds in Motanga City. Accessible population is the basic finite set of individuals from which a sample is drawn. Okay, so we have a sample size. It's a group of individuals in a research study on which information or generalization about the population is drawn. And so we have the n is equal to n over 1 plus n e squared. Where n is small n is the sample size and where the capital N is the population size. So this for the e e is the desired imaginary or margin of error usually 0 0.05 or 5%. For the sample size, it is a group of individuals in a research study on which information or generalization about the population is drawn. So we have here for the formula where n, small n sample size, capital N population, and z is for, for a normal variable for a reliability level or 95% or 9% or usually or usually 1.96%. For the P, largest possible proportion, this is 0 0.5, and then the D is sampling error, this is 0 0.5. So this is the population of all items. So sample, for example, at the kinds of um, brands ng kochi natin. So ito yung pinili ko natin ng brand. Ito pa niya Toyota, ito ay Mitsubishi, or... Honda, di ba? So, ito yung mga nabili natin yan. At least, nagkaroon tayo ng sample na kinuha natin sa population. Yan. So, we have to compute the sufficient sample size of a target population consisting of 1,524 first-year BS architecture students in the given College of Agriculture Department using Sloven's formula. So, we have the given, that is the sample of N, is 1,524 Margin of error of E 0 0.05. So we have here, after substituting the value, we will get the n, small n, which is 316.84, or more or less, that is 317 population. So we had. With the same problem, using the Lynch formula, so we have here. Substituting value of the value of Z and P. So we have the N is 306.72 or more or less 307. So that will be the value of N. So, sabi ko nga kanina, we have the statistics, descriptive statistics, and we have inferential statistics. 
Under this uh, descriptive, we have collection, organization, summary, and presentation of the data. For inferential, we have generalizing, conclusion, and prediction from sample data. So, sabi niyan, collect data, yan, survey, and mga tables or graphs, summarize, yan, using the sample mean of summation of x sub n, or ilan yon, hindi divide mo sa bilang niya, doon makukul sample. For the variable, a characteristic under the study that assume different values for different elements. So, sometimes, you don't know the x, y, z, yung ginagamit, or the value of the variable for an element is called an observation or measurement. For the data set, a collection of observations on one or more variables, quantitative variables, so a variable that can be measured numerically. So here, so we have discrete variables and continuous variables. And for the quantity, quantitative variables may be classified as either a descriptive, which is a valuable loose values are countable, number of students present in a class, that is a discrete. Number of green marbles in a yard. And number of tails when flipping three coins. And student grade point average. For the continuous variable, yan, variable whose value is obtained by measuring height of the students, weight of the students, or the time it takes to get to school, or distance travel between classes. A variable that cannot assume a numerical value but can be classified into two or more non-numeric category. Yan, ito yung number. For the variable, we have qualitative and quantitative. And qualitative, dichotomic, and then polynomic, discrete, and we have continuous. Under the dichotomic, we have general gender or marital status. For the polynomic, we have the brand of PC or hair or color. Hair color. For discrete children in the family, stroke or the club, golf hole. For it continues, amount of income, tax paid, or weight of the students. So, in, these are the types of variables. For inferential stat statistics, we have estimation. For example, we have to estimate the population mean weight using the sample mean. And have to test testing. Test the claim that the population mean weight is 70 kilograms. So, inference is the process of drawing conclusion or making decision about a population based on a sample results. So a sample should have the same characteristics as the population it is representing. So with replacement, a member of the population may be chosen more or than once or picking the candy from the bowl. Without replacement, a member of the population may be chosen only once. So for example, sa lottery, di ba? Sa lotto, minsan lang pwedeng kunin yung number. So sampling, we have random, non-random. Oh, for example, this sample may not be large enough or representative of the population. Factors not related to the sampling process cause non-sampling errors. Non-defective counting device can cause a non-sampling error. For the random sampling, we have simple. So each sample of the same size or has an equal chance of being selected stratified we have divide the population into groups called strata and then take a sample from each stratum do a simple random sample for example lahat kayo may equal chance para medyo magkaroon ng so for the recitation na matawag pag stratified pwede natin i-divide isang sa lalaki sa babae di ba pag sinabi naman sa cluster for example kunyari magbibilang ako ng 1 to 5 or by age, di ba? Ito na kukuha. Ina-cluster ko siya. Pag systematic, kunyari, uh, kada fifth bibilang ako, or kada ten, yun ang tatawagin ko. Parang ganun. These are the example of the sampling. Random sampling. For example, we have determined the raw sample size for each level given in table. We have the raw data. Computation of the sample size according to the year level. 
first thing is I we have to total. So we have 2,475 for the total. So we have to get the value of n. So nakita natin dito is 344. So ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin bawat isa. Para makuha natin yung value. Okay, so 800 divided by 2,475 for the total. Multiplied by 344. So, nakuha natin this is 111.19. So, more or less, nasa 111. 650, so 90. So, the third year is 101. And then, so, fourth year is 42. So, dapat, pag in natin to, yung lahat na yan, dapat yan ay 344. So, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, ang pwede natin lang natin kunin sa first year ay 111. Sa second year ay 90. Sa so third year ay 101, sa so fourth year ay 42. Para magkaroon tayo ng sample na, kunyari, i-interviewin is 344. Okay. So, yun yung nakuha natin, di ba? Sample size. Yan. Computation. Now, so ito ay i-upload ko sa Google Classroom. This will be yours, see to work. And then, ipapass din mamaya. So, maraming salamat sa pakikinig. So, ciao! Ingat po tayong lahat.